Well, what about the situation for primary schools elsewhere in the country? Joining me now is the Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham. Good morning to you. Uh, heard there from Noel much confusion uh, where he is. What do you believe the policy should be? The government's done a, a U-turn and said that all schools in London, primary schools at least, will remain closed. Should that extend across the country? I think it should be decided locally. Um, that's what I put to the government today. I think you are absolutely right to say at the start that people up and down the country, parents, teachers, support staff, students, kids, are anxious today about what's what's happening. And that that has to be sort of a, sort of borne in mind by uh, people like me. It's got to be about practical solutions, not politics, and that's really, really, really important. But while I understand the government's wish to get people back into school, if they plough on on their current path, I think we'll have a chaotic start of term uh, tomorrow. So what I'm saying to the government is either give schools working with local councils flexibility to set their own start dates based on the local evidence, or let's have a delay along the lines of the delay that's been arranged for secondary schools. I think it has to be one or the other. If they just push ahead, I think we'll see tomorrow morning some staff perhaps not turning up or some parents not feeling able to send their, their students, and that won't build confidence at the start of this new term. So, as you explained, that, that there is a lot of confusion around, so therefore wouldn't a blanket approach be preferable? Well, I say if there is to be a blanket approach, it should be to delay. Um, because there are real concerns in schools that the, that the arrangements aren't in place to make them safe. The schools that I speak to, uh, and I do speak to a lot of head teachers, spoke to some yesterday, um, they, they are worried that they've not had time uh, to get access to testing. There's worries about PPE. Uh, there's calls for support with vaccination. Um, so, you know, they are worried. Special schools only got the guidance about reopening uh, gone 5 p.m. on New Year's Eve. Now, I think most people would say that is completely unreasonable um, for, for schools, uh, particularly schools looking after children with, with disabilities or special needs, to get guidance late on New Year's Eve. I mean, that isn't an orderly start to the new school term. So what I'm saying today is, you know, we do want to see schools reopen, but it's got to be done as safely as possible. So give the ability of schools working with their councils to set a flexible start date. And, and I think that is the, the best way out of this uh, situation that we find ourselves in today. As you said, lots of confusion out there and the government needs to cut through it and, and offer a, a way out of this. The uh, Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has just said that uh, he has no doubt that schools are safe. Would you agree with that? Well, uh... He needs to speak to people on the on the front line. He needs to speak to some parents who have uh, concerns. It's a it's a fairly sweeping statement uh, to make when uh, there isn't uh, at the moment uh, enough PPE in schools. The school environment in some cases isn't properly ventilated. Uh, there are concerns about distancing. I think it's to say that it's safe across the board in every school. I don't think is a statement that can be that, that can be made without qualification. Uh, you need to look at this school by school, locality by locality, and that's what I'm arguing for today. Move away from the sweeping statements and the blanket policies and trust people at a local level, trust head teachers working with council leaders, working with directors of public health to make the right decisions. Because yes, in some places it might be safe. Here in Greater Manchester, we actually have cases that are quite some way below the national average now. So I would imagine some of our councils might decide that it is safe to reopen at some point this week. Others might want to delay. That's got to be the pragmatic, sensible way forward uh, from this. Uh, you border Liverpool. Their interim mayor is calling for a national lockdown and mass testing. Um, is that something that, that you might advocate? Well, I did say last week when the government announced its new tier arrangements that it was an odd thing to put 78% of the country in tier four and 22% in tier three. So I made the same call myself last week. Let's, let's have national arrangements at this moment in time. I think the tier system anyway, I, I would say there are doubts about it. Uh, it confuses people. So let's move to national arrangements uh, through January. That doesn't have to be full national lockdown but it does have to be arrangements that are, are in place to protect the NHS through what is going to be 
a very challenging month. And yes, we are working with the government to, to see more mass testing. We're uh, going to receive some support from the military, which is very, very welcome, uh, welcome indeed. But but all of this is is going to take time to be put in put in place. To come back to the schools issue, it isn't fully in place at this moment in time. And that's why there are lots of concerns out there. Yes, and some high-profile Labour politicians have written to, to Keir Starmer um, suggesting that uh, Labour are not holding the government to account enough and they should back the unions in calling for uh, a universal lockdown of schools for the first weeks of term. Well, everyone's facing difficult decisions here. Everybody wants to see children back in schools and we've just got to make sure that that is done as safely as possible. So I, I'm sure that... Uh, Keir Starmer will be, be looking at these issues carefully. Uh, perhaps the pragmatic approach that I've suggested today might be something that he might want to, to advocate. I mean, I'm just putting forward my ideas with regard to what I think is right for Greater Manchester. I think in this pandemic, we've had too much of Westminster telling, laying the law down and telling everybody how it's going to be and briefing their plans late. And I, I think we need to move to a, a more local approach to the management of this pandemic. It, it's Trust people Keir Starmer, local. though... Is the Keir Starmer, though, holding the government to account? I think he's done it very effectively uh, throughout this entire pandemic, not just scoring points for the sake of it, but asking the right questions. And over a number of issues, particularly the test and trace uh, system, which still isn't working, I think he's been forensic uh, over that and, and held the government to account. He's pressed the government for more support for areas in the tiers. As you know, He backed Greater Manchester when we were having that argument with, with the government. So, yes, I mean, I think he's done the right thing. I mean, nobody wants to see politicians scoring points at this moment in time. And it's why I said, Gillian, at the start, today of all days, let's not do that, because there are parents worried, there are kids worried, there are teachers worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. A political row isn't what we need today, but instead, let's debate some practical ways that we can move this debate forward. And I've come on Sky this morning to, to suggest a couple. Yes, and in that debate, the uh, vaccination rollout begins, um, the AstraZeneca vaccine being available tomorrow. We've spoken to the BMA this morning and they're saying that there hasn't been enough communication with the, the government on this and, and the rollout is, is somewhat chaotic. Well, it's, it's really important that it doesn't become uh, chaotic. Um, so we have laid plans in Greater Manchester uh, for a number of vaccination centres to open. I think seven will open tomorrow. By, by tomorrow, all of our main hospital sites will be, uh, will, will be delivering uh, the vaccine. We expect to receive the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, tomorrow. So we have got a, a good, strong plan in place. Uh, what we are worried about is do we have enough staff on the ground to deliver the vaccine at a rate that we would want to to get that uh, immunity across the population. And the advice I'm getting at the moment from my team is we don't and we will need to bring in uh, extra support, so perhaps recently retired staff uh, from the NHS. So the concern at the moment is, do we have enough vaccinators, not necessarily enough enough vaccine to, to deliver uh, the, the injections in all of the different, the different sites? But we want to work with the government on that. And I think, again, we all need this vaccination programme uh, to work. So like schools, let's work on the practicalities and not let the politics take over. Don't let the politics interfere. Andy Burnham, uh, Greater Manchester Mayor. Thank you very much for speaking to us this morning. You're welcome.